Okay, so in this question, we're looking at earnings, right? How much money they're making, how much they earn, and what? Look at the question again. How do they earn money? How do they earn money? Sales. They sell something, okay? So we're going to let pick a, a variable. You guys tell me. What variable do you want to represent earnings? E. E? Okay, let E represent earnings and let S, S okay, represent sales. Okay, so there's two stores. How does Sam's store earn money? What do they do? How do they earn money for the month? So Sam's store makes... <coughs> 1,600, what is wrong with this pen, sorry. They make $1,600 for the month automatically, right, every month, plus they get what? Okay, and then you get 2.5% of the sales, right? So what about Carol store? How, does, how, is, how are their earnings based on what? What do you make at Carol store? $1,000 plus they get 5% commission, so 5% of the sales. So Sam's um, initial amount is greater, but his commission is less. And then in Carol's store, the initial amount is lower, but then you get more commission. So you get $1,000 for the month, plus you get 5% of your sales. So we need to come up with two equations. We were using the variables E for earnings and S for sales. Okay, we're calculating a person's earnings. Yes. Yep. Oh. So earnings is equal to what for Sam's store? 1,600 plus. 1,600 how would you represent 2.5% of something? When you're calculating percent, what do you, how do you turn that into a decimal? Divide it by 100. So move the decimal two places to the left. So it becomes 0. Point, what? 0. 0. 0.025 S. Good. Plus, yeah? 1,000 plus 0. 0.05 because 5 divided by 100 right? Percents out of 100. To turn a percent into a decimal, you divide by 100 and then times the sales, so S. Okay, we have our two equations now, so that's the easy part. That's, that was a hard part. Now is the easy part. Okay, so Judy is making around $15,000 in sales for the month. She has to figure out which store should she work for. Should she work for Sam or should she work for Carol? Well, now that you have the two equations, we're going to do what with the 15,000? Substitute. Substitute it in for what variable? S. S. Good. So you guys do that using the original equations. So 1,600. Okay, so this is for Sam's store. We'll do the first one, and you guys tell me what her earnings would be at Sam's store. So don't forget bed mass. you got to do the multiplication first. Store, mm -hmm. at Sam's store, if she's roughly selling $15,000... At the end of the month, she would take home, her paycheck would be $1,975 because she automatically gets $1,600 for the month. So she can sit there and do nothing and get $1,600. But then if she sells, what is she selling? Computers? If she's, what is she selling? So the more she sells, then the more money she's going to get to take home at the end of the month. So that's kind of like an incentive. Commission's a way for you to, to do your job, basically. And the company ends up getting more money, and then you get to take more money home. Okay, so what about Carol? Did you guys calculate how much she would make at Carol's store? More. Is it more or less? Less. More. Yeah, good. So 1750 So she's making less at Carol's store if she's selling $15,000 for the month. I'm going to give you guys a question now based on this information. Look here. If she only were to make, or sorry, not, let's say she made more money for the month. She sold more, I mean. Okay, so let's say that for that month, she ended up selling $25,000 worth of cell phones, because that's what she's selling. I want you to tell me now whose store would be better for her to work at if her sales increased to 25000 Made with DoodleCast Pro.